I tried YouTube automation for 30 days and the results were actually pretty shocking. YouTube Cash Cow channels, also known as YouTube Automation, has been around for a long time, but it's actually- It is, and it's mainly because of people starting to make content about it, just like me. Then it kind of spreads faster than just people like mouth to mouth, right? That's why you're getting more popular. As a business model, and you know, for good reason, YouTube is just becoming bigger and bigger, and there are tons of opportunities on this platform. Honestly, it's never done. It will probably never will be done. If you look at niches to do and stuff like that, a lot of people say it's saturated, this and that, but there's always a sub niche. There's always a different format you can apply. There are just so many opportunities and you cannot do them all at once. So there will be always stuff to do, even for new people coming into the business. Both as like a personal brand channel like this, where I show my face, but also as a faceless channel where you don't have to show your face. You don't have to do any work really. If you automate the entire process, like YouTube automation is for cash cow YouTube channel. The how Guys, I still did not buy that hat at the mall. Trust me, today I'm gonna do it. Next video, you'll see me with the hat. Build a YouTube automation channel. If you potentially make hundreds of thousands. Let's see if I'm in this video too, because he's he's putting up all these gurus now. Let's see if I'm in there too. Dollars on YouTube with a business model called faceless YouTube automation. Now you might Let's see if I'm in there too. Ah, I missed out guys. I'm not famous enough. Emotional, damn it! wonder if this is just another scheme or is this business model actually working? It's not a pyramid scheme. It is a, it's not even a scheme per se. It's... I can confirm that it's definitely working if you do it the right way. There are thousands of faceless channels out there making like tens and hundreds. Yeah, that's the thing. There, there's absolutely no reason or no way you can say it's a scam because it is basically just YouTube. There is not that much difference in between having a personal channel or a YouTube automation channel. The only difference is you're not on the channel yourself but YouTube channels aren't a scam, so this cannot be a scam. Thousands of dollars every single month, so it definitely works, but it's not an easy process. But after seeing all of this potential, I'm done with missing out. I really wanted to try out this business model, and that's why we're here today. Just over a month ago, I started my very own YouTube automation channel, and I'm gonna share the entire process with you guys and show you all of the results over this previous month. Interesting, so he started a month ago. The title says, shocking results. Let's see how much you made. So to take you all the way back to my very first video on this channel. 25 cents, okay. You can tell it did not do too well. It got a total of 63 views and earned me 0 0.20. I mean, to be honest, it's not too bad. And a lot of people will comment, oh, he just started. How is he monetized? Blah, blah, blah. Because that happened to another video I uploaded. Guys, I'm not sure. It's not like some secret magic trick, whatever. They either just buy a channel that is already monetized or they just have it laying around. I have a lot of channels laying around right now with stuff I tested and tried and I kind of stopped with that and this and new stuff. And because of that, they are still monetized. I just don't upload. So if I now start another niche or another project, I can simply take that channel and start uploading it again and it will be monetized right away. It's not through some magic strategy or some website or they either buy it up front or they just have it laying around from previous experience. Okay five dollars at this point i had a budget of approximately thirty dollars per video that was kind of the budget i wanted to stick to oh a dollar mm, thirty dollars is all right however you cannot i i depends on the format if you make like four minute videos with an easy format you're gonna make it with 30 bucks but if you need like 12 minute long videos that are high quality 30 dollars for that is pretty tough oh a dollar but i did quickly realize that 30 dollars did just not get me the quality that i yeah pretty much oh a dollar Wanted for my videos so after switching out some freelancers trying some different ones I finally found a team that I was happy with and a team that delivered quality videos now when I started out as I said I wanted to spend $30 per video but after finding the team that I was happy with I ended up with a $50 per video budget so as you can tell it is like fairly high especially if you don't have like tons of cash to invest and by all means you can do some of this yourself but I def yeah you can do a lot of stuff yourself actually you can do all the stuff yourself it's just that if you do that it's not really youtube automation it's just more you do a faceless youtube channel which is fine too because then later on you can switch to youtube automation that's how i got started myself back in the day so it's nothing wrong with that it is just that if you do it yourself it's not really youtube automation because automation means you outsource the work and then you set up processes so that you don't really need to touch too much of it 
So then if you do it yourself, it doesn't really apply. I need to have some starting capital when you start this business model so you can at least outsource some of the work. So the first video did not do too well, as you can tell, I posted this video. All right, I see. So after the first video, he kind of stopped being consistent, I would say. But then after that, he picked up, which is good. So on August 3rd and then the next video on August 15th. But it was basically August 15th that I really started trying with this channel and tried to upload like two to three videos every single week. So today we're going to look at the dates from August 15th to September 15th. I'm going to show you all of the results, all of the money that I made. And after I switched up my team. Yo, that's getting better already. 3.8k. It's interesting to see because it took off and then it flatlined, which is not great. Let's see why that happened. To create a lot better videos, the second video actually started to show some sort of results because as you can tell, it got 3.8K views. And for this to only be my second video, I would say that is pretty good. It did also make me $8.64. Obviously, I did spend like $50 on this video. So indeed, I did lose like 42 bucks. That's the game. That's how YouTube automation works. You kind of need some capital to get it started. So it's not really beginner friendly as in completely beginner friendly unless you do the work yourself, but then it's not technically YouTube automation. So yeah, in the beginning, you're probably always going to lose some money. It takes some time to build up, but then once you've got it, it's an asset that you can keep squeezing the money out of. But still, like, this is not a bad start at all. Now, basically, I'm not going to show you the channel name and the niche that I'm in because I am still running this channel and I want it to be successful. So for now, I'm going to keep it a secret. Maybe I will reveal it in a later video. I see a lot of people are now going to complain maybe you're one of them but think about this you're pretty like at some point i just feel like people are entitled like you've got people like this that make the video they give you information but then they also expect them to reveal everything and like their channel and this or that just because you can then copy it or whatever i don't know but these kind of people honestly change your mindset that's all i'm gonna say this is business but this second video that I uploaded had an RPM of $2.3 and a CPM of $5.58, so not too high. And as we move along, like these results actually stayed fairly consistent, like 2,000 views on the next video, 2,400. Interesting, his like to dislike ratio is pretty awful, For, like 45%, 55, 60. So he's either making some crazy clickbaity content and then not delivering all that, which is not great because then the watch time and stuff and people coming back to your channel is not gonna be good or it's just like some controversial stuff. Reviews on the next one, 2000 on the next one, 787 on the next one. But now moving on to the seventh video, that was when I finally saw some prop. Once again, 44% dislike ratio or like to dislike. Interesting, but he has a lot of views, it's good. Results. The seventh video on this channel got 13,000 views. It gave me 17 subscribers. Once again, they flatline like crazy though. Suspicious. It's kind of confusing. So I'm not sure if this, if the watch time, he's not showing watch time stats, if it's just not good enough, but his videos go this and then they flatline like crazy. Usually if you hit a good one, it kind of continues to go up steadily. It made me $93, which is really cool to see because obviously I only spent $50 on this video. So this was my very first profitable video. It made me $43, which is really cool to see. And as you can tell, the RPM and CPM was a lot higher than this one than the last one I showed as well with a $7 RPM and a $12 CPM. So I was finally starting to see some success on this channel, which is amazing, obviously. Now moving on, I had three more decent videos around like one or two thousand views guys look at it 14 percent like the dislike ratio honestly i don't i, I don't see that too often pretty much never nothing too crazy but still you know just trying to experiment with different video topics different style of thumbnails and titles just like figuring out what works in this niche because you can't really expect to see results right away you should expect to do a lot of experimentation try out a lot of different things 100 percent. it's always trial and error you don't just get to the right format right away what you do, like, to be honest, I don't, I never care about likes or dislikes, whatever. It, it doesn't really matter. However, if it tells you that the viewer doesn't like what you're making and because of that, your watch time is less and they're not going to come back to your channel, you should definitely pay attention to it. Things. And once you find stuff that actually works, you can double down on it. You should do a lot of research on your previous video, figure out like what works, what didn't, where in the video people fell off and stuff like that. And then after experimenting more, try nice we 89,000 views let's go he's getting there he's getting there my 11th video popped off going into the animal but once again he, he again has this and then flatline which happens or maybe the, the the original spike is just so good 
that the flat, like it seems like it's flatlined, but it's still getting some decent views. This video got 89,000 views. It gained me 78 subscribers, which isn't too much for like almost 90,000 views, of course. It might have been because I clickbaited a little bit too much. Yeah, you see, <laughs> he, he, he does clickbait. But it is what it is. I'm still super happy with this result because this video also cost $50, of course, and it made me 278 dollars basically like 230 dollars profit on a single video which is absolutely amazing i mean this was the first time where i like finally saw some proper results the video got 436 thousand impressions yo that ctr is great 16.6 percent had a really good click through rate of 16.6 percent which just means that i really chose a good title and a good thumbnail as well and this video had a 3.13 dollar rpm and an 8 dollar cpm which is like pretty low if this video would have had like a similar rpm to the previous video i showed at seven dollars the revenue would obviously have been over double the amount so that kind of sucks but oh well i'm still super happy with this video so if we were to show the total i think if you're watching this bro try and figure out why people dislike it so much obviously you just said you clickbait try and find and see if you can find and maybe it's still working great but if you can find a way to do some clickbait but then also deliver on the clickbait that'd be best analytics on this channel from august 15th to september 15th click apply you can see that we did gain a total of 116,000 views which i think is pretty solid for like 10 or 11 videos in the first month running this channel i also gained 130 yeah this is great the only question is are you going to be able to maintain this because once again if you get so many dislikes I'm not sure people are going to keep coming back to your channel. Probably not. If I find a channel that I don't like, I never dislike or, or you know, like, I don't care. But if there's a channel that continues to clickbait me, then after a while, I'll figure it out. I'm not going to click on it anymore because I know it's not going to be what I want it to be. So try and figure out if you can solve that problem and then mix it together and find, like, the sweet spot. But these are great results, to be honest. Subscribers, over 4,000 watch hours, and the total revenue was $413. I did spend approximately like $500, so I did indeed lose money. But hey, you can't really expect to make money in your very first month running a YouTube channel. So overall, I think this is a great result, and it definitely gives me more motivation to keep going, and I will definitely try to run this channel long term and just see how far I can get it. Now, obviously, this was only the first month I have had this channel for for close to two months now. So if you want me to make like a 90 day. For sure, I'd love to see that update. Now there is a guy that did do this for 90 days and you can actually watch that video right here up on the screen and I'll see you there.